Good morning, everyone. This is Tile Creek Rock back for another exciting day here on the Ark Survival Evolved Lost Island map, the new Lost Island map. And anyway, here I am in, in a, with the orbital camera on trying to trying to do something cool that's not quite working out. But anyway, I thought I'd show off here why I shortened my character. These door frames here, as short as I made him, he still almost clips the doorway. But anyway, today... I think I'm going to do something a little bit stupid. I'm going to head over toward that lighthouse and see how close I can get to that. But anyway, I'm going to put this back into, into first person. I'm a lot more comfortable playing with the first person. We're going to get out and try to explore a little bit today. I think before I do, though, I'm going to slip back up here and see if this moss chops has changed what it wants for taming food. Last time I checked, it wanted giant bee honey. I don't know what that sound was, but I heard that last night, and that spooked me pretty good. Pretty sure moss chomps don't make sounds like that. Moss chomps, do you still want giant bee honey? Let's check this out real quick here. Prime fish meat. Boy, you are a picky moss chomps. Not going to be taming him, don't look like. But anyway, during the night... Raptor Claws did come out, but I didn't see him, of course, because I'm stuck over here on the corner of the island or whatever this, however this map is laid out. I guess I can show the map really quick if I can remember how to do it. Right there is how much of the map I've seen so far. Very, very little. Looks like I'm all the way up in the northwest corner of the map. But anyway, today we're going to try to head over toward that lighthouse and see if we can explore a little bit more. We've also got one more level during the night, and we finished up our little starter hut here. We actually expanded it a little bit, made it a 3 by 2 put a roof on it. That's basically all we've done during the night other than gather materials, so it was a pretty uneventful night. And I heard the wolf howling like I'm hearing right now, which is pretty odd. And then I heard that big roar thing like I heard a minute ago, which I don't know what that is either. But we're going to try to explore a little bit up this way. And we got one level up during the night. And we just hit another one. This, so this will put us up to level 12. And we've got our weight to 200. So we're going to start pumping some into, some into health. Get our health up a little bit. And we've got some Ingram points here. We're going to unlock arrows for sure. That leaves us a little bit left. I think we're going to do the bed one. Because we want to put up a bed as soon as possible. And that doesn't leave us with many points left, so I think we'll just save the rest of them. And we're going to try to explore up around this way. And I'm not going to cut through the woods. I'll go around the beach, and if it comes back toward that lighthouse, that'll be good. If it doesn't, I just won't be getting there. I don't know what that is up on top of that mountain. It looks like a pyramid or something, though. Looks like the sun is coming up in that direction, though, so that must be the east. Let's head west today. We headed over to the east yesterday on day one. This is day two of our little adventure here on the Lost Island. See if we can come across anything new. We need to do some hunting really bad too. We need leather really bad so we need to find some dillos or some dodos or something easy to kill. We'll probably run into something really dangerous really quick and won't go very far. It's pretty dangerous to venture out very far from your main base when you're low level and you have no weapons or armor and the wolf howling is not a good thing if there's wolves around we're just going to be in trouble I don't see any creatures at all over in here though now there's a pteranodon I do see a supply drop, but it is out in the middle of the woods, and we're not going to get out in the middle of the woods. Not yet, anyway. We're not prepared for that. What is that, a dimorphodon? No, that is a bright green pteranodon, and it is running from something. It's a pretty colored one. I'll probably tame a pteranodon for too long. There's a bunch of dillos. I could kill those and get a lot of hide and stuff, but I'll have to separate them to do it. And the problem is, they're so close together right now that they would all come for me if I'd done anything. 
and they're not going to separate. They're going to go right back toward each other. I don't think I can handle three of them. That one's pretty blue Christmas colors. Okay, that kind of looks like a cave right there, but it's just a big rock, I guess. That one's way over yonder. We might be able to separate them out. Come here, Dillo. That's a bad idea. Let's not waste a spear like that. Hard to come by spears. We just run on in here and attack, but three of them will probably kill me. And I keep seeing this pteranodon fly over my head. It's a pretty pteranodon, but. Okay, Dillo's boyens are making my passageway difficult here. I'll try to sneak around them, maybe. But I do need meat and hide pretty bad. See if we can sneak around them. Okay, looks like we got around them all right. Let's head on up the beach here. See what we can find, see if we can expand our map a little bit. See how long it takes us to run into a raptor pack or a or a T-Rex. It's impossible to sneak around raptors because they can detect you from a long ways off. I guess that is not a cave, that is just an archway in the rock over there. You can see through it from here. This is a pretty map, but I have explored very little of it so far. Big cliff faces. I'm being a little bit cautious because I'm trying not to die. It is called Ark Survival Evolved. So I figure your goal is to you want to survive as long as you can. I see something on the beach way up in front of us. It's a parasaur. I would like to tame a parasaur, but I am a long ways from being able to tame anything right now other than passive teams or maybe a dodo I could probably tame a dodo but I really don't need a dodo parasaur right there is a dodo it is a Christmas colored one what level are you dodo I hate to kill you but I need to hide really bad yep I hate it but I got to do some dodo fun. Spears seem to be really good for that. That should give me a pretty good mess of hide. Boy, here's a Christmas colored parasaur. What lovely you parasaur. 20. I ain't seen nothing real high level yet. Things seem to be in increments of eight or four, which means my maximum level creature on here is probably only going to be a 120. And I was hoping for level 150 creatures. There's another big gap in the rocks. They ain't a cave or something over here, are they? I don't see it. Nope, just a big rock face. Did I see something in the water? I thought I seen something in the water. Oh, we got dolphins and stingrays. Stingrays are dangerous. Let's get out of the water. That's the first water creatures I've seen so far on the map. Let's 
keep on around the beach here. See if we can get around maybe to that lighthouse. I kind of doubt this is going to run into the lighthouse though. Unless I go a long ways. Let me see how much hide I wound up with off those dodos. I got 49 hide from them dodos and 19 meat. There's a fish, and it's beached, so we're going to get some fish meat here. Question is, is it dead? No, it's alive. I think it's still alive. Well, it took two spears to kill a fish. I guess we should clean it up with the pick. Well, we got fish just beaching themselves. I want one of my spears. I did not mean to pick that up. We've got a little bit of fish meat now. If we could tame one of those itchy ornus birds, itchy ornus birds, I don't even know how you say that. If we could find one and we had enough fish meat. I've seen another fish, but it seems to be gone. There it is. It's going right up on shore. bad fish does not give hide or scales or something that you can make stuff out of. Just give you fish meat. Let's keep it going. See how far we can get around here without dying today. Some huge cliffs. That'd be a great place for a base right up on top of that cliff right there. It'd be safe from every side. At least it looks like it would be from here. Let's poke our head back in the water, see how many fish there are around this area. Seems to be some fish. Oh yeah, this is fish central over here. I don't know why they weren't none on the other side. Yeah, pretty pretty good mess of fish over here. I would like to get a supply drop, but we'll probably not be able to do that either since we're only level 12. I'd say the only ones we could open is a white one. If we stumbled across the white one, and I would have really liked to have got some of those Christmas drops last night, but like I said, I didn't even see him. I got the message that Raptor Claws came out, but I didn't see him because all I could see was this little small area over here where I'm at. Let's pull out the map again and see how much more we've covered. Uh, we've basically still haven't uncovered anything yet that we didn't already have. Oh, this is going to be a dangerous spot up here. I can just feel it. We're probably going to run into swamp and there's a green dillo. A really green dillo. I wish I had a spy scope so I could see what level it was before I killed it, but I got no way of taming them anyway. Got no trank darts. Probably club one, but it would be a mess. Level 12. It was not a very good one anyway. Okay, you got seven meat and eight hide for a dillo. Okay, let's keep going. There's another really green dillo up in front of us. I have died to Dillo's early game before. I hope this is not one of those real super high level ones. Wow, that missed. Oh, great, he hit me. I got blinded by Dillo. Let's hope he doesn't have any pals. Fortunately, he wasn't real high level or he probably would have got me. I did not manage to dodge that very well. I usually can jump and dodge a dillo attack, but I didn't do it that time. There's that lighthouse. Boy, it is across another beach, isn't it? It's a lot further away than it looked. 
There's another dodo. Oh, do I want to harvest dodos or just keep her going? I probably want to just keep going. I've got a bunch of hide now. Level 12 dodo. I guess we'll take one more. Even though it's nice and pretty Christmas colored one. Dodos seem to give quite a bit more hide than dillos do. And I got another level up. What that put me at? 13? Level 13? I'm going to start leveling up my health now. Got my health up to 120. And I want to unlock narcotics. And what else? Uh, I think I'm going to go up and unlock stimulant. And that gives me very little left to do anything else with. Guess I could unlock a wooden foundation. Yeah, let's do that. Let's keep it going. Let's see if we can get to that lighthouse. Even if we do, I don't see no way up unless it's from the other side. More dodos, but I'm going to skip the dodos. I've already killed enough of those for now. Curious what level they are anyway, though. We've got lots of Christmas colors. Level 64. Level 12. And a 52. I'm definitely not going to get level 150 creatures on this map. Probably 120. Probably get a Spinosaur. Wow, there is a nice big archway right there. That looks pretty cool. Do I dare look up here? This feels dangerous to me. I'm a low-level guy here. I'm not going to survive any massive attack, but that looks pretty cool. Big, nice archway. I'm heading for a lighthouse, though. I don't want to have to use my only sleeping bag to respawn. I really should go back to base and craft me up a bed since I've got some hide now. But let's continue on a little further. This is a really cool map. Ragnarok's got a lighthouse. That place, that lighthouse there actually lit up during the night. You can see a light in it. So there might be something in this one. Don't know. I do know I'm going to run into something dangerous eventually here. It's going to be the edge of one of these woods. I'm going to get a raptor pack run out on me. take a look in the water, see if there's any piranhas or anything around, just in case I have to bail. If I get attacked by a raptor pack, I'll have to bail into the water. See more dodos up ahead. And I see a, some of those Ichiornis birds. Lots of them. Boy, that's terrible. Why so many of them? make it really hard to get around them. Let's run through here and try to get around them if we can. So we don't want them to steal our stuff. And now let's get our stamina back. How do I get up to that lighthouse? Let's go around the other side of this beach and see if there's a way up. See how dangerous it looks. We are probably not going to get up to the lighthouse because there's probably all kinds of dangerous stuff up that way. It is a cool looking spot though, I have to say. I like, like this map so far. Seen very little of it though. Don't see no obvious pathways up to that. Might be a wise idea to build me a raft and just sail around the whole map and get a good view of everything. But I don't know. I've done the I've done the raft thing before and it gets kind of old after you do a little bit of it. Okay, I still don't see a pathway up to that. 
I'm sure there's one all the way around the back side of it. I am really shocked we've made it this far without running into raptors or anything. Let's have a look at the map, see if it's expanded any yet. It really hasn't. It's still just a small little spot up in the northwest corner showing. So I haven't traveled far enough to expand it any. Probably one on foot. It takes a long ways to walk around the map on foot. Size of these maps. I'm gonna check the water again just in case. Nothing in here. But like I said, if you're near the beach and a raptor pack or something attacks you, you can usually jump in the water and avoid them. Oh, that scared me. It is a raptor, but it's an over raptor. Scare him off. Boo. Okay. I think the only way to get into the lighthouse is probably going to be to go into the forest. Oh, we got matching turtles up here. Matching bright red turtles. Deja vu. No one of them's got a pink belly and one of them's got a red belly. But they're walking step to the step, ancients. Four and a sixty-eight. And dodos and trikes and there's an actual supply drop that we could probably open if we could get to it. Well, lots of dodos over here. 20, 56, 120. Yeah, I'd say 120 is going to be my max creature on this map. I did turn the difficulty all the way up, but apparently this is set up for 120 creatures. At least that's my guess. 32. I'm sure right up through there's a pathway to the lighthouse, but I just don't know if I can do that or not. We're going to keep doing the beach right now. We'd really love to get to that supply drop, because we can probably open a white one. I think you only have to be like level 3 or something to open a white one. We have run out of beach here, looks like. Oh, yeah, we're probably not going to get that supply drop because it's going to be dangerous up there. What's up with the beach here? Does it end? I seen something up there by this supply drop moving. I think it was a track. Parasaur, maybe. What is that up there? That does appear to be a parasaur and a turtle, so I might be able to get to that. Because if those creatures are up there, it means there's probably nothing dangerous. Probably. Let's get our bolas out just in case, I think. Because I think the worst thing we have to worry about is raptors. Be honest with you, though, I don't even know if there's raptors on this map or not, but I am about 100% sure there will be. Uh oh. Something's running. I'm running too. Let's get down and hide behind a turtle. What are you running from? Oh, it is a raptor. Oh no. Raptors are incredibly dangerous. I think I'm going to get back to base and make me a bed with this hide I've got because we are not facing a raptor. And of course that stupid parasaur is bringing it right to me, ain't she? This track will probably kill the raptor if it gets involved with it. Where'd it go? Track, you want to save me from that raptor? Parasaur is still running, but I don't see the raptor behind it. It just ran off and left the raptor. Levels of track. Track is an 80, so yeah, it would take out a good raptor if it got into it with that track. Yep, I'm gonna head back to base and try to make me up a bed. 
because this is going to get me killed. I wanted to go up there, but we know there are going to be raptors up there. I've just got to level up more before I can do it, though. Got to level up more before I can take on a raptor. There's a dillo. Dillos don't see as easily as raptors do, though. You can sneak around them sometimes. Keep looking back, because that raptor might still be running around chasing that power store. I don't know. Over raptor, you look too much like a raptor. Ah. And you walk like one, too, a little bit. Parasaur, are you the one that was running from the raptor? I guess you gave him the slip, didn't you? He probably done the little squall thing and the raptor probably ran in the opposite direction. What level are you, 12? I could probably take down a level 12 Parasaur. Don't really need to, though. We need to get back to base. Make us up a bed. Actually, let's see what we need to make a bed with. We do have enough hide, so we just need a bunch of wood and thatch. We've got all that back at base. Get back to base and craft us up a bed, and then we'll try to explore a little bit further out. I could get a little extra thatch and stuff right quick. Might even make my bed before I get back to base. Might probably get a level up if I craft a bed. Craft a simple bed. Yeah, I can already do it. Let's get that done. Hope I didn't really mean to make another pick. Okay, let's get back to base and set up this bed. Guess I'm going to do a little bit of running since I don't think there's nothing much dangerous around this way other than those eat the ornest birds. And I do need to have enough running speed to get around these guys. There's about three of them right here and one just flew right over my head. They usually come after you if they get that close. And I am out of stamina so this is not good. My own back stamina. We need to get a little bit of running going here, I think. Yep. There it comes. My stamina is completely drained here. I'm not going to be able to outrun this bird. Uh, there's a purple drop up there on that hillside. What a shame I can't get that. That's a bad thing about early game. We get supply drops all around that you can't get. I'm curious if I expanded my map any at all. I don't think I did. Went out to the, around that little peninsula there. That's mm -hmm. all I've went to. So I really haven't done nothing yet. Let's jog on back to base as quickly as we can so we can do some more exploring. Maybe take out a couple more of these dodos so we'll have more, some extra hide. Might make us up a water skin when we get back. We don't have one of those yet. Hate killing poor little dodos, but they're about the only way you can live. Wow, that one survived. And he scared off all the other ones. That's terrible. 
Usually one spear to the head usually takes out a dodo. Guess that was a level 64 dodo. Which means the other ones aren't going to be easy targets now. Uh, they will eventually calm down. That was a 52 and I can cook him out with one shot. Okay, where'd the other one go? Dodo. Are you a one twelve? Or are you just a twelve? Well, I missed that. You want to cause me to use up all my spears? See if we can find those spears, because we need those. Have to make some more, I guess. Got another level up. It's pretty good. Put me up another level into health. And that gives us how many Ingram points? 15 more Ingram points. And let's see, do we need anything? I think we want wooden pillars and wooden ramps for sure. And we can't even unlock wooden ramps after we've done the pillars, took all our points. Fence, foundations, canoe, we can do a canoe, that's something I knew, and now I'm starving out here. Let's get on back to base, get that bed set up. We're still a long ways from being back to base, aren't we? Let's jog a little bit, run our stamina down so we can... Put ourselves in danger. Oh, there's a Pelagornis. That's the first one of those I've seen. And there is a volcano. Wow, this map has a volcano on it. I hadn't seen that yet. There it is. There's definitely a volcano way over there. And it seems to be erupting. I guess we'll go that way after I get all this stuff put back to base. Our base is on the other side of this little cove up here, which is a pretty good ways off. There's a Tyrannodon. Is that the bright green one we seen earlier? If we had trank darts, we could tame us one of these guys, but it'd be a long time before we can make a saddle. Parasaur, let's see, what a level are you? 44. Huh, I am running out of water and food. Let's look up the beach past that brontosaur. We see anything over there dangerous? got in the water here. Lots of coelacanths. I think this is the spot where I got those that fish meat at a while ago. Our base is still way up yonder. So this is going to be quite a large map. There is a shark or a dolphin. I guess that was a dolphin. I did see dolphins up here earlier. Dolphins and stingrays, so we got to be careful getting in the water with stingrays. That is a Christmassy dolphin. There's the stingray. I do know there's three dillos up here somewhere. We got to try to avoid those or kill them one or the other. I don't really want to waste the time to try to kill them. I'd rather just run on around them here so we can do some more exploring. I guess the running is what's running my water and my food down real quick. But it's such a long ways back to my base that I don't want to walk real slow. I won't never get there.
base is right over there, right directly in front of me. It's a long ways though. Might have another go at taming that moss chops. It's wanted prime meat and giant bee honey and, and there's that Therensia sore. That's something that would kill us instantly. We'll have to swing out wide of that thing. That is the first really dangerous creature I've seen. Fortunately, they don't aggro unless you get really close to them. If they do aggro, though, you're going to die. Oh, I'm getting way too close. away from him. That is a very dangerous creature for me early game. Those things are, can put out about as much damage as a T-Rex. I have seen Thrinjisaurus kill T-Rexes in the wild. Probably one swipe from those big old claws would do me in. We're almost back to base. We'll get this bed set up and dump all this heavy stuff off and cook up some meat and we'll head up the other side of the beach. Head over toward that volcano we seen. I'm sure that's so far away that we can't possibly walk that distance in a day. Can I carry anything? Let's chop up a little bit of flint and stone and take back to base. We need to get us a mortar and pestle set up as soon as possible. We might actually be able to make one of those now if we've got enough stone. Let's see if we've got enough stone to set us up a mortar and pestle. Uh, it takes 15 hide and 65 stone, so we need a bunch more stone. Let's get us a little bit of stone. We want to try to set us up a mortar and pestle before we leave, too. That way we can be crafting up some spark powder and stuff. I'm just about overweight here. Yeah, just about overweight. Let's see if we can't craft this thing up and lighten ourselves down a little bit. Up a mortar and pestle, and just make up some. I think I want to repair my stuff first, and then that give us enough not to make any arrows with yet. Probably should. I wonder how you're supposed to get to that blue supply drop up on the side of that mountain. Have a flyer, probably be the only way. Seems to be a pretty safe little area right here, thankfully. Let's see, where we want to put this bed? I'd like to put it right there where the sleeping bag is. I wonder if you can put one on top of a sleeping bag. You actually can, can't you? I'm going to do that. I'll probably put my mortar and pestle right here next to the campfire. Get some narcotics cooking. Got seven spool of meat, so I'll be able to make a few. Stone and flint in there and make up some spark powder. Then we need to cook up this meat we've got.
And then we need to stash some of this other stuff. And we're gonna head up the beach, I think. I guess I might as well just should just toss this extra pick because it ain't gonna do me any good. But I guess I'll keep it. Yep, let's get the round the around the beach on the other side. I'll check the time of day. It is 2017, so the day is basically gone, I think. Still is some light out though, so let's truck on around this way. I don't think we're gonna get nowhere though. Let's go check on this moss chops again before we go anywhere. We might actually be able to tame this guy. I think it's gonna get dark really soon here. Grab a few extra berries, because he's probably eventually going to want some berries. And I've got another level up. So that will put me up to level 15 and 140 on my health, which is great. I've got 20 Ingram points. And what can we unlock with this? Uh, I don't know. What I want to unlock. We could unlock gunpowder. I guess I'll do that and unlock some of this hide armor. And that's pretty much it. Moss chops, where'd you get off to? I see something up there. What is that? That's that stegosaur, isn't it? That's the first stegosaur I've seen. There is a stegosaur up in there. Moss chops, you want something reasonable like tinto berries or moss, rare mushrooms. Man, you are the pickiest moss chops ever. I've still not found any rare mushrooms. According to the clock here, it is almost midnight. Or not almost, but it's 2100 hours, so it is getting really late. So we're probably not going to do another adventure today. I'd like to go up around that direction. But I don't think I would get very far before it got dark. And it's not good to be away from your base after dark. So I guess I'm just going to probably go ahead and end this video off here and be crafting me up some more stuff and trying to level a little bit. Didn't do a whole lot today. Got over to the other side of that lighthouse, which is a lot further than it looks. And that drop went away. And I got up to level 15. Got my hut set up. Got a bed and a mortar and pestle in here now. Got some meat cooking. Probably craft me up a couple pieces of leather armor during the night. And in the morning, we'll head up the beach in the other direction. But anyway, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Thanks again for watching. This is Tile Creek Rock on the new Lost Island map. On the new Lost Island map, signing out. And there those wolves go to howling again. I guess that is a sign midnight is coming. But anyway, I'll catch you in that next video. Tile Creek Rock, signing out.